Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have some news. Okay, I have some news. We're going on holiday. <laughs> I am so, so excited. We've booked a holiday. This will be our first holiday in two years and I'm really, really looking forward to it. We're not going for ages, but it is really, really exciting. Uh, our last holiday we went on was to Ibiza and that was two years ago now, just about two years ago. It's around the time that links went missing and so it was a bit of a like, huh, bit hard to be honest I don't even think I was eating at the time which was really bad but it was one of those times where um, it made Ali and I realize that we needed to go on more holidays and we made that pact and then Covid happened and sadly here we are <laughs> but obviously things are starting to open up here in the UK so I guess you know I'm in I'm in the mood to travel and I'm looking forward to it so obviously what do I do whenever I'm looking forward to something and whenever I am excited about something I shop. I really love holiday fashion. I think that's probably one of my favorite things to do is to shop for things that I'm gonna wear on holiday. I feel like you come like with a little bit of a different persona and yeah, hence why there's hats, okay? <laughs> but the exciting part is this video is in partnership with Jimmy Choo and I'm gonna be showing you one of my favorite looks using some of my favorite pieces from one of the core pillars to the Jimmy Choo brand. Basically, there are categories that make up the Jimmy Choo core pillars. So um, I've got a couple of pieces that I'm gonna be signing up with you today as part of this haul, which I fully plan on wearing on my holiday because they are so beautiful and so perfect. They're gonna look perfect against a holiday tan and they're gonna work so, so well with my wardrobe. So without further ado, let's get into what I've been buying and I just thought I'd kind of talk you through some pieces that I love and that I'm gonna be wearing when I go. So. First up, let's get into some of the Jimmy Choo bits because this was a particular piece that I really felt like I needed in my wardrobe and I wanted to get something that was slightly more elegant, slightly more me, but still comfortable. So I didn't want the typical kind of like sports slider look. I wanted something that really had a little bit of elegance to it that would look nice with my wardrobe. I wear a lot of white. So the pearl design is a real core part of the Jimmy Choo brand. And this is in keeping with that. And I loved these. Super easy to just slide on by the pool or even like around the house. This is what I've been missing in my wardrobe so much. But I just, I wanted something that was a bit me. I'm not, I'm not like that sporty in terms of like my wardrobe. I don't do like sport lux or anything like that. Whereas this is beautiful, it's elegant, and it's very, very me. So this with a little caftan or a beautiful dress or some shorts, they're gonna look absolutely perfect by the pool or on the beach. They've got the little Jimmy Choo branding on the bottom as well. I'd love to see this in a nude and I would love to have these in a nude as well. Or maybe even a white with the pearls just offset against the white, which actually goes really well because I've got my pearlescent nails that look quite white, but in person, they've got this gorgeous like mother of pearl pinky iridescence to them, much like the Jimmy Choo Pearls. So that was my first item that um, I picked up and I think that these are just gonna be so perfect for wearing whilst I'm away basically. These are the mini slides styled up with the dress that I was wearing actually because I just think that it looks really elegant with a cute little summer dress and then some comfortable shoes. Just really convenient and practical but still beautiful to be able to slip them on and look really lovely without having to go for anything that's too kind of frumpy. They've still got that real kind of feminine edge and just look really, really lovely. So I thought I would style them up with this dress because it was just super easy. Next up is one of two bags in this haul. One of the bags I don't have here, but we'll get to that. This bag though, you would have seen this in a previous vlog and Honestly, I don't think there has ever been a more beautiful piece from the Jimmy Choo brand. Like this is, this is something that you could just have on display. It is so beautiful. It's got this like diamante detailing to the top of the pearl. It is a small bag, which, you know, I'm partial to a small bag, but it also comes with a chain. So it's easier to hold on to. You can obviously put it in the nook of your, the crook of your arm like that or just, I'd probably hold this in my hand. You could also put it over your shoulder, but for me, I just like this as a really, really beautiful clutch. When I'm on holiday, I don't wanna carry loads of stuff with me. I want to have like a lipstick, some money. That's about it, probably my phone, and I generally have my phone in my hand anyway. This is just one of those really cute things. That you just have a tiny little edit in, great for evenings. Like this is such 
a stunning evening bag but this is just such a great talking piece and also statement piece like it just instantly elevates anything that you're wearing and not to mention that it has shoes to match this will go with absolutely every element of this particular pillar and that's the really good thing about the pillars of the jimmy Choo brand because there's there's obviously the pearl there's the crystal there's the monogram but when you buy one piece it just goes with everything from that particular pillar so all of the pieces that i've got today will go with this bag and i'll be able to wear them in different ways and wear this bag styled up different ways as well i honestly i can't get over this bag it's stunning and then if i want to go all out glam which i think it's always important to have a pair of flat shoes when when you're anywhere do you know what my shoes are important in general but these particular shoes are stunning will also look really beautiful against a linen dress which i think is so beautiful but also you're going to do a lot of walking when you're on holiday whether that's to the beach to the beach bar to the pool shopping like all of those things and i always want to be really comfortable and this this little pairing to me is so beautiful but not just that it's bridal season as well and if you're getting married i think that these shoes if i could go back and get married again i think that these would have to be like my bridal shoes obviously i'd go for the heeled version which of course i have here you would have seen them in my previous video and they are just just beyond like i just cannot believe what a work of art these shoes are so if you're getting married this year and you're not sure on shoes or a little bag like this is the perfect little wedding day bag imagine this against a wedding dress Oh my gosh. And that's what I love about it because they're so statement. They can be styled up or they can be the main focus of your outfit. And I've tried this on with a really beautiful floor length linen dress, short linen dress. It always looks like it's supposed to go together. So these are my particular favorite pieces from this particular uh, pillar. These are the flat pearl Jimmy Choo's and oh my goodness, they are even more beautiful on. Do you know what these would be really good for? Is if you get married and you want to change from your wedding shoes, which are the taller ones, into a flat version. Or if you're just a flat shoe kind of girl, these are perfect. But again, it just looked too perfect with this dress. Styled up with the little tiny clutch bag is just too elegant and too cute such a beautiful kind of like modern bridal look i just love it i would say though that you will probably want to size up in these shoes because they are quite snug i would probably go a whole size up because these are pretty snug on me so i think i'll have to probably change these ones but very very cute with this particular outfit and also the heeled version which this is such a lovely holiday look just all white it will be so perfect for offsetting like the tan it goes with my nails perfectly and because the accessories are white you could wear this with any kind of color dress i just obviously love 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 white dresses and i love an all white look like this but these shoes are so perfect again i'd probably size up in these though maybe half a size not so much as with the flats and the little bag is just the cutest little thing so i'll link all of these in the description box down below i've also got because this is something that i have been in real need because i'm the world's worst i always lose my sunglasses and i, I don't know i don't know how i do it i honestly i don't know please tell me i am not the only person who loses sunglasses all the time but i love designer sunglasses like luxury sunglasses are my weakness but i can't be trusted with them so i'm constantly replacing them and it's really annoying there's probably lots of people out there that have my sunglasses because they found them lying somewhere so irritating but hope you enjoy them so i needed to pick up some new styles of sunglasses and i went for these particular ones from jimmy Choo. i think that tortoiseshell is the softest but most timeless when it comes to sunglasses and this is a really great shape because it's not so big that it just takes over your entire face but the softness of the tortoiseshell just makes it a little bit more like warm against particularly my skin tone because i've got quite cool toned skin but i love these and just a really timeless easy to wear shape but with good coverage because when you're on holiday or when you're anywhere sometimes you need a little bit extra because rosé tends to happen and one style of sunglasses that i did not have was a really beautiful nude and these have a slight slight sparkle to them i have never considered nude sunglasses before and 
I like that they've got a kind of vintage edge to them. I love the lenses, such great lenses. I always learned really young that um, lenses were really important and these are no different. Such beautiful lenses, I love the gradient to them. So elegant, absolutely perfect and exactly what I needed for my holiday. So those are some of the accessories that I've got from Jimmy Choo. I'll link them all in the description box down below if you wanted to shop any of them. They'll be linked down there. I did also do a little bit of a mini holiday like shop basically. So I thought what I would do is I would style up these particular pieces with some of these outfits and with a couple of other outfits maybe that I'm potentially gonna take on holiday with me. So the first thing that I've really come to, to realize is I don't have any nice sun hats. And I think the reason for this is, is because I've never been able to like trans transport them. However, I saw M Ford share this particular hat on her stories and it is so beautiful. This is from Eugenia Kim and I think it might be too small for my head, but I think if I went bigger, it would be too big. So I'm gonna kind of stretch it out, but can we please appreciate how fabulous this hat is? And again, it's got this like ivory banding, so it's gonna sit really nicely with all of the accessories and generally what my holiday color palette is because I like a lot of white. I mean, I like a lot of white anyway, but those more neutral tones are gonna to sit perfectly alongside this hat. So I think that I am definitely, definitely going to keep this. It is absolutely perfect. Next up, I have the dress. Like it is the dress, guys, because I shared this dress on my stories. I shared it probably months ago. This is from a brand called Costarellos. I always thought it was Costella, Costellos, but it's Costarellos. And this is the most beautiful cut work, rosary, like maxi dress to the floor. It does give me Zimmerman vibes, but like Zimmerman vibes times 10, basically. It just looked phenomenal. And I just thought that this was such a beautiful piece and it was in the sale. I picked this up in the sale. It's now sold out everywhere. I don't know how I managed to get this dress in the sale, in my size, but that is like, that's fate. That is fate working <laughs> in my favor. And um, this is just such a perfect summer dress, but also something that will work really well in the UK because this is really nice and like robust. I think I might wear this to Wimbledon. I haven't decided yet, but I've got some options. And um, I think this would be really, really lovely for Wimbledon. So I have styled the Costellaros dress up with the Jimmy Choo mini slides because this I think is the best look. I think when you pop them with a maxi dress like this, it just gives it a different feel, but you're so comfortable. And the fact that they've got pearls just makes them look so perfect with this. And you just kind of don't really, you just see little flashes of the pearls, just like that, but this dress, I can't believe I managed to get this. Look at that detail. The sleeves are absolutely perfect. Oh, this is just the most perfect summer dress ever. Wowzers. This is my first time ever purchasing from this brand and I am so, so impressed. Wow. This is definitely, definitely staying because I just think this is so versatile. You could wear this with wedges, raffia shoes, but also with some beautiful pearly slides. I, of course, had to try this on with the hat because it is too perfect not to. But because the camera is searching for my face, it's making everything really bright. But both, I think, are staying. Then I went for another kind of like linen white dress, but this is a slightly more relaxed vibe. This is from Faithful the Brand, and which I always find is a really nice, like, it's a good price point, this particular brand. But it's also always really well made. And this is just relaxed, like big bows up on the shoulders, but cinched in at the bust to a certain extent. And it's kind of like more of a midi dress than a maxi dress. Oh. No, I would say that this is a bit more of a maxi dress. It's just not to the floor. It's more to my ankles, but we'll try it on and we'll see how it looks. But it's a classic white dress that just has a little bit more of a relaxed vibe, which I feel is gonna be perfect on holiday because we're going somewhere where the vibes are very relaxed. And then this with the sun hat, I just, I can't cope with it. It's just perfect. Okay, this is my dream summer dress. I've not actually done the belt properly, so bear with me. And I've taken the belt off the Costellaros dress 
and popped it on with this one, but this one is the Faithful the Brand little sundress. And I popped it with the pearl flats and the pearl bag from Jimmy Choo. And this is just the dream. The reason why I love this dress is it's cinched in under the bust, which means you can cinch it in at the waist as well. You don't need to wear the belt. I'll take it off and show you it without the belt. But it's also got adjustable straps, which means that um, if you like to wear things slightly lower, which I do, I don't like things too high up underneath my arms, it just gives me the ability to tailor make the dress to myself. It's got panels, which means that it's got sort of like more of a, a ruffling detail to it as well and I just think this is absolutely perfect even one of the hats would look so nice with this as well you can go with all of the accessories but I just think this little bag and these shoes are so gorgeous for holiday without being too like strappy summer vibes so you can really dress this up with these and it just looks wonderful but I'll show you the dress without the belt and without the accessories as well because it works as the most perfect poolside dress as well this would just throw on so perfectly over a bikini or a swimsuit and barefoot it just looks equally as beautiful with a sun hat it would work so well I think this is such a great dress such an underdog I love an underdog <laughs> I did actually also um, order another hat. This is from, what brand is this from? This is from a brand called Artisano and this one's kind of arrived in not very good shape. It's a bit kinked but I do really like the the style of the hat. Um, it's this like ivory straw kind of vibe with also this ivory band around it but um, it's just a bit crumpled. So I'm going to maybe try and Try and give it a new lease of life and stretch it out. But again, it needs some like zhuzhing for it to work. But I thought that this was so cute and just a really nice timeless kind of hat style. And obviously practical because we don't want to get too much sun, but it's just, it might need to go back because it's just a little bit crumpled. But again, you're seeing the kind of color palette of my wardrobe, which I'm very much wearing now, coming through in uh, the video. Next up, these are two pieces from H&M and just for something a little bit more, what's the word? Like easy to throw on, but versatile. These are some woven crop tops. At the moment, I love like really high-waisted linen trousers. I've got quite a few pairs and just throwing on a crop top is like my way of being able to wear a crop top in my way that feels comfortable. So alongside something that's high-waisted, whether it's a skirt or some trousers, these are perfect. And they're also in some really nice earthy tones as well. If I'm shopping for a crop top, I'm shopping on H&M um, because they just do such great options. And these are also really good for throwing under linen shirts because the one thing that I find is I actually don't like this button on me in a linen shirt done up. It just doesn't look right. It needs to be undone but then I don't want to obviously have everything out, so I have to have something underneath, which works perfectly. One of these crop tops, especially this brown one under a crisp white linen shirt, oh, it's perfect. This is how I would probably style up the crop tops from H&M with these trousers. I know I need these trousers in a million different colors, but the like woven texture of these shoes with the hat works so well and just gives a little bit more of like a, I don't know, a little bit more of a Parisian edge to the wardrobe. So I think that this could definitely be a vibe to take on holiday. And I love, love, love the crop tops. They're so comfortable, so easy to wear and actually really flattering as well. And I just love high-waisted trousers, especially, I know I go on about the double pleats, okay? I know I go on about them. But for me, when I don't have like big hips, it just creates that more like elegant, shape to my body which I love. It's all about the optical illusions I guess when you've got a body that's kind of straight up and straight down like mine. <laughs> also I did mention about the other bag. I have I've given up looking for the perfect straw bag because I obviously found one from another brand and there's a waiting list and there's like the hopes of me getting the picnic bag. It's, it's just unlikely but a girl can dream and so I went in search of other like wicker bags and I found this bag, it is super cheap. It hasn't arrived yet, but I wanted to tell you what was in like my mind with this bag because 
There's no branding on this bag, but it's a really elegant style of wicker bag. So I'll pop a little like picture of it on screen here. Um, it's not arrived yet, but I felt like this, this needed some airtime. I obviously can't vouch for the bag or anything like that, but I, I think this needed some airtime because it's a really beautiful wicker bag and it's got a top handle, which I think is really elegant. There is also hoops which means that I will probably be able to attach like a tan crossbody strap if I want to. The size of this bag looks really good as well. It's kind of like more of a medium size than small or large, which is great for what I want it for. I'm also gonna add like a twilly or a scarf to just kind of lux it up a little bit because I've given up trying to look for the perfect summer bag. I just, I can never find it. And I saw this and I don't, I think it costs like less than 20 pounds. Don't quote me on that, I can't remember. But it is, it's beautiful and it's everything I want it to be. And if I was just to add like a, like a little twilly, silk twilly scarf to it, just to, to lux it up a little bit, it's gonna give me the vibes that I want, that more rustic, natural um, holiday vibes, but it's not branded and in your face but it's elegant. Let me know what you think about this in the, in the uh, comments down below because this is me kind of like making my dream designer summer bag, but for a rather more affordable price. Like if you think of Twilly, it's probably like 100 pounds, 100, 100 to 200 pounds, and then the bag is like 20 pounds, and then if you've got the strap, then you're laughing. I quite like this idea, but I'm gonna have to update you on this bag at a later date because I've obviously not received it. But when I saw it, I thought, this is as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> but let me know if you know of any other wicker bags because yeah, I'm kind of, I've looked at like the Loewe ones and things like that and not really found anything. So mm, we shall see, I will update you. And then finally, finally in this haul is a new bikini. Now I love bikinis at the moment. I'm just obsessed and especially high-waisted ones. I love my Arabella London ones. But this one just gave me such holiday vibes. This is from Johanna Ortiz and this is like, it's got this beautiful ruche detailing, but then it's got um, like suns and moons and it's just quite like, it's quite boho vibes. And it also feels really nice and, and natural. It's got this woven texture to it, um, if you can see there. And I thought that this would look really nice with my hat as well. High-waisted, which I'm loving at the moment, and then the top. These are really great because these bikini tops look really wonderful with linen trousers like thrown into the mix. So you can wear this and a lovely pair of linen trousers and still look like you're kind of dressed and not wearing a bikini top. So I love this and I love the ruffles. You know that I live for the ruffle life. Well, this was a no-brainer for me. So I'm gonna try it on and let you guys know what I think, but the bikini life is what it's all about at the moment. We're not getting the sun here in the UK, so I'm going elsewhere. <laughs> and this is the Johanna Ortiz bikini. I definitely think the bottoms could have had a little bit more like control to them, but I still feel really, really lovely in them. If you're looking at me thinking, Lydia, why is your tummy whiter than your um, legs and chest? It's because I'm always in the garden and I'm wearing like, like strapless things, but I don't have my tummy out at the same time. So that's why I need to kind of marry up my tan, even though I've got fake tan on as well. It's just being outside, it throws the fake tanning off as well. But the bikini itself is absolutely beautiful. I feel really nice in it. And like I said, you could definitely put this, in fact, with those H&M linen trousers, that would work really, really well as like a top as well. I love it. I definitely think I'm gonna keep this. It's such a statement. This is like a little poolside photo shoot kind of bikini, but really beautifully made, really flattering, and I feel really nice in it. So that is absolutely everything in this haul, and I'm so excited to go on my holidays. But let me know which pieces that you loved. Also, let me know what pieces from the Jimmy Choo pillar you liked the most. Um, pop it in the comment box down below, and also let me know if you're going on holiday anywhere, because First of all, I can't wait to, to properly get back to like traveling and seeing the world and things like that, which I think is something that I I'd kind of lost for a while because I traveled so much for work and I always wanted to be at home. Now I'm like raring to get out there. Do you guys feel the same? Let me know in the comments. But um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.